Um, my setup here on the left, I have my text editor and I have my file setup called hello.c. And on the right, I have my command line for Linux. Uh, my assumption here is that you have a little bit of command line familiarity for Linux, but if you don't, it's okay. We'll be walking through it step by step so that you can, you can learn as you go. Um, so I already have the C compiler, GCC, installed on my computer. If you don't have it, what you need to type on a Debian system, so, Linux, so Ubuntu or Debian or anything like that, is sudo apt install gcc. And the way that you can confirm that is by typing gcc, gcc, hitting enter, and you should get this big error message that says that you didn't provide any input files, which is the correct output. Um, and then to clear your terminal, you can hit control L, and that'll clear out the screen for you to get a nice clean terminal setup. Then over here on the left, we're gonna start coding, right? Uh, so we're gonna talk about line by line, what's going on to get your hello world set up. Um, so the first line is gonna be pound include, that in C is called a uh, preprocessor directive. If you don't understand that, it's okay. Just, there you go, pound include. Um, the less than sign and then the greater than sign. And inside of that, you're gonna type stdio.h. So what this line does is this gives the compiler other information about functions we're going to call like printf and puts that we don't write. So for example, at some point we're gonna call this printf function, but we're not gonna define printf. The question is, how does it know where printf comes from? It comes from standardio.h, right? So we include it to let the compiler know where this other function lives, okay? Um, so then hit enter just for stylistic stake, right? And then line three, we're going to declare a function, right? And in C, there needs to be a main function, right? And we can actually prove that there has to be a main function by trying to compile this code right now. And we'll actually get an error. The way we're gonna compile our code is we're gonna type GCC space, and then we have to specify the name of our C file. For me, it's hello.c. For you, it can be anything. It could be potato.c, cat.c, it doesn't matter as long as you, it's a file that you wrote. So gcc hello.c and then tac o for output name. And then we're gonna specify the name of the file we want to produce, which is for me, I'll call it hello. You can call it whatever you want. Hit enter and we'll actually get this huge error message. And what's going on here is the compiler is walking through your code and trying to assemble your program, but it gets to the very end of the process and it says, hey, I don't know where main is. You never defined main for me, so the linker through an error, which is good output. That means that our compiler is working well, we just didn't give it the things that it needs, right? So we need to create this main function. And the way that we do that is with this line right here. So what we're gonna do is called a function declaration. When you do a function declaration in C, first you specify the type that it returns. And main is expected to return an integer type or an int. So we type that first, int. And then we type the name of the function, which is main. And we do open and close parentheses. And then within these parentheses, we type out what kinds of arguments the program, ex or sorry, that function expects. For the sake of simplicity, we're gonna say that main expects no arguments, so we're gonna type void. That actually isn't true, but we can lie to the compiler like this and it won't have any negative effects on our program. Okay, so now that we've declared what's called the function header, we are going to now specify the contents of the function. And the way we do that is we do a curly bracket open and a curly bracket closed. We'll hit enter and that'll make room for us for our function, right? So line four and line six is the beginning in the end, respectively, of our main function, right? All right, pretty straightforward. So now we're gonna be able to type the contents of our function, right? When main gets called, what happens? Um, and in this case, all we're gonna do is call this function called printf. And when we do a function call in C, right? So before we declared a function, now we're calling a function. Um, you type the name of the function, which for us is printf, and then you do an open parenthesis, and then you specify the arguments that are going to go to this function, right? And what we're gonna do is put in the string, hello world, period, and then we want the program to look complete or pretty when we run it, so we need to make the computer basically hit the enter key. And the way we do that is we insert what's called a new line by specifying backslash n, right? So that, that's the same as the that's the same as the computer hitting the enter key. 
So we've set up our call to printf, and then at the very end, we put semicolon. So if we run this program right now, line five will call printf on hello world, and it should output it to the screen, right? And then finally, before we compile this and run it to see that it worked, we need to specify the return value of the program, right? Because like I said before, int main expects an int to be returned, an integer. And what the integer returned from main actually represents is the status or the exit code in bash. The zero value is common because it's actually the way you tell the shell bash over here that there were no problems, right? If you returned negative one or negative two, that's the way that you could tell the user, hey, I had this problem or that problem during execution. But for us, because this is a very simple problem or a very simple program and there are no error states, we can just return zero. Cool, so this is our code. Let's walk through it line by line one more time. Include the standard IO header so that we know where all these other functions like printf come from, right? Then we're going to declare our only required function in C, which is main. And main is a function that returns an integer type and takes no arguments. Start main. Within main, we're going to call the printf function, which prints things to the screen. And what we're gonna to print to the screen is a string hello world, period, and then the enter key, and the string. And then we need to put a semicolon at the end of our line, right? Because C is a semicolon delimited language. And then finally, once we've called the printf and we return from it, we're going to leave the main function by returning and the value we're going to return is zero, which lets the shell know, hey, there were no problems. And that with a semicolon and then end main. That's really it. This is the hello world program in C. So let's go over here to the right and test it. So we're gonna control L to clear the screen. And then it's gonna be like before, right? GCC the name of your file you're trying to compile. So for me, it's hello.c. And then you're gonna output the hello program, right? So tack O, you can name that whatever you want. You can name it pig, you can name it potato. It doesn't matter. Just you have to name it something. Good, so we've gotten no errors. We can actually ls this and you'll see that we have our C file that we typed and then the program that we created. And this should actually be an elf file, which is the executable and linkable format, which is the executable file uh, type for Linux. And then we're gonna run it. So to run a program in, in Linux, you do dot slash the name of the program and you hit enter. Hello world, perfect. Um, and we can actually see, remember how I said that the return value from main goes to the shell so you know if there was an error in your program. You can actually check out that error code by typing echo dollar sign question mark zero. So what this does is this is echo the program which just says print something to the screen in bash. And this dollar sign question mark is the bash variable for the return value of the previous program. We can actually test that by turning this to return negative one as a little experiment, right? So that we do gcc hello.c tack o hello. No error code. Cool, no, no compiler errors, um, dot slash hello. We should get the same output, but if we echo dollar sign question mark, we get 255, which is actually the maximum value because this is a negative one. I know it's a little confusing um, that you can return in C. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. If you did, drop a comment, drop a like, let me know what you wanna see next. Uh, keep on learning and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.